The original Valkyria Chronicles was one of my favorite PlayStation 3 games, and certainly one of the best turn-based strategy games I've ever played. Valkyria Chronicles 2 on the PSP was also amazing, but another PSP sequel, Valkyria Chronicles 3, unfortunately wasn't released outside of Japan. Then came Valkyria Revolution, which was a dull and uninspired action game that disappointed nearly everyone. So when I heard that Valkyria Chronicles 4 would be returning to the series' turn-based roots, I was excited. So excited, in fact, that I did something I rarely do and pre-ordered the Memoirs from Battle premium edition of the game. Let's check it out. Included in the box is the game itself, a promo code for some add-on side missions, and this model of Squad E's tank. As far as mass-produced collectible models go, I'm pretty impressed with the quality of this one. It's not just one solid painted piece of resin like you often see in these kinds of things. The treads are actually separate from the model, and some parts, like the tank's Ragnite heat sink, are rubber attachments. There's also an art book in the form of a journal with a nice soft finish, featuring artwork and bios for the main characters, squad members, enemies, vehicles, weapons, and more. A sticker on the box noted that a controller skin was included, but I couldn't find it. Turns out it's just inside the game box itself, so probably anyone who buys the game gets that. The dog's cute and all, but uh, Controller skins? Really? Also, after shooting this video, I noticed a small part taped to one of the plastic forms inside the box that I was supposed to attach to the tank. An antenna with a flag on it. A nice detail for an already cool model. So there you have it. All in all, some nice additions to go along with a game I'm sure to get many hours of enjoyment from. Thanks for watching.